Hi folks, here I have the Squino jig. These jigs come in a variety of sizes. Uh, they come packaged, as you can see, with the treble hooks, but they can be rigged in any number of different ways, ranging from a small assist hook uh, to an inline bucktail teaser like I have on this larger one. Now these jigs have a very pronounced flutter on the drop, and they're uh, best fished in a, very, in a slower presentation. For that reason, I particularly like these jigs um, in a ground fishing situation. Here on Cape Cod, I use them for uh, porgy or scup, some people call them, sea bass. Um, you know, even striped bass will take these. Down south, they're very popular with the inshore snapper fishermen. So, you know, again, as you can see, they come uh, pre rigged out of the package with the treble. They're very easily modified with a small assist hook or an inline bucktail teaser. And now I'm just going to take a minute to show you how to fish these jigs. So I've hit bottom. Now this jig, as I mentioned, has a very nice flutter. So I like to fish these squino jigs, but just short, you know, 10 to 14 inch spans with the rod tip. I'm staying in tune with the bottom. Now this jig, if it's in sand, will create little tufts of sand or mud. In this case, I'm fishing a real rocky bottom. I'm picturing a clicking sound as this jig hits. But just short little jig retrieves like this, 10, you know, 10 to 14 inches. And that bait's gonna have a really cool flutter when you're jigging. This jig is deadly on fluke, sea bass, scup, porgy, depending on what you call them, and uh, you know, inshore snapper.